Hey everybody, I'm here today to answer the simple question of how does a key open a lock? I'll be giving you a demonstration with a transparent padlock that I have along with its corresponding key. Let's get right into the video. So you probably use your key or a key to open a lock of some sort all the time. You probably use it to open the lock on your front door, the lock in your car, and all sorts of other locks. But how does a key actually open a lock? Well, I'm going to explain it and demonstrate with this transparent padlock. Let's start off by taking a look at the actual lock itself, okay? So you can see that they have a barrel right here. So this right here is where the key goes into, and that is corresponding to this barrel over here. And on top of the barrel, there are all of these pins. And you can see that these pins are different sizes or different lengths, okay? And there is one final pin at the end right here, which is used um, sort of to allow the barrel to turn, okay? Now, if I try and turn the barrel without the key inserted, I'll just insert it a little bit. So if I insert it a bit and I try and turn the barrel, it's not going to work. And I'll tell you why. These pins right here are not in the correct positions. What it What's happening is... All of these uh, ups and downs, all of these peaks and valleys on the key correspond with the positions over here of the pins that you see on top of the barrel. So when you insert the key, you get all of the pins to the correct position. Watch what happens when I insert the key into the lock right here, okay? So I'm just gonna take the key, I'm gonna slowly insert it. You can see those pins moving and dropping into their correct positions, okay? Check that out, check that out. Now that I've inserted the key all the way, it's fully inserted, all of the, the pins are in the correct positions. They're all, all level right there. And what that means is that now, since they're all in the correct positions, I can turn the key, which turns the barrel, which allows the lock to unlock. Okay, so check this out. When I turn the key, okay, it turns the barrel, and the padlock now pops open. Okay, just like that. So you can see that with the key fully inserted, all of those pins are in the correct positions and now as you can see right there it allows me to turn the barrel which operates the lock now this is how it looks with a padlock but even on the lock like a deadbolt on your front door or a car lock that you might use a key with on an older style car or a newer style car if it has a key instead of a key fob or if you just choose to use the key instead of the key fob uh, because the option is likely still going to be there that's what happens now with different locks they won't necessarily pop open. When you turn a deadbolt, like on your front door, that's gonna move the deadbolt in and out of the door frame, which will unlock and lock the door. On a padlock, it looks like this, where it pops it open, but that's essentially how it works, okay? And the spring over here is what allows the padlock to pop open, just so you know, just like that, okay? So basically, there are pins inside of it, inside of that lock, okay? And when you insert a key, the peaks and valleys that you see on that key um, allow the pins to go into the correct positions that will allow them to, that will allow the barrel to turn, which allows the lock to unlock, or to operate, I should say, to lock or unlock, right? It depends on the type of lock, but it allows the barrel to turn, which allows the lock to actually operate and function. That's it. That is how does a key open a lock. A very simple tutorial showing you a demonstration with a transparent padlock. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.